Bitcoin is the number one cryptocurrency by market cap. It has the most name recognition and is arguably the most secure blockchain. However, it's slow and doesn't support smart contracts. Stacks is looking to change all of that by enabling smart contracts and faster confirmations on the Bitcoin blockchain, as well as giving you the opportunity to earn Bitcoin simply by staking your stacks. Hey everyone and welcome, I am Robert with Altcoin Buzz and in today's video we are looking at Stacks, which is an innovative proposal that aims to bring smart contracts, faster confirmation speeds to the Bitcoin blockchain while also giving you the ability to earn Bitcoin as a reward for staking your Stacks. So there's a lot going on here and I want to break this video up into two parts. In the first part of the video I'll explain what Stacks is, what it's doing, and then in the second part of the video, I'll show you how to actually get your hands on some stacks and begin staking and earning those Bitcoin rewards. So first off, what is Stacks? Stacks makes Bitcoin programmable, enabling decentralized apps and smart contracts that inherit all of Bitcoin's power. So really the best way to understand Stacks is to go ahead and jump into the white paper and Basically, Stacks is a layer one blockchain that brings smart contracts and decentralized apps to Bitcoin. So the idea behind this is that Bitcoin's the number one blockchain. It's the most well-known blockchain. It has the highest amount of security. So why not leverage all of those benefits to bring decentralized apps to Bitcoin? And the cool thing about this is that it is a layer one blockchain. So it's not a layer two solution. It is its own blockchain. However, it is anchoring into Bitcoin and using Bitcoin as its kind of finality layer, right? So we can scale with this blockchain we can increase transactions per second however we're ultimately submitting our final transactions hashes to bitcoin so that we are using that as our security layer so within this system there's a couple things going on and the first thing i want to explain is what they call their proof of transfer and proof of transfer is basically a consensus algorithm but it's a consensus algorithm between two blockchains. So we're not talking about consensus on one chain. We're talking about how do we make sure that two separate chains are in agreement. And they're doing that through something known as proof of transfer. And within proof of transfer, there's really two separate parties. There are stacks miners and stacks holders. So stacks miners are people that want to bid for the leader of the next round. So they want to be the people that are going to write the next blocks on the stacks blockchain, right? And the way that they do that is basically by bidding for it. So the protocol selects the winning miner of a round using verifiable random function. The leader writes the new block for the stacks blockchain and mints the rewards. Newly minted stacks for the block fees for the smart contracts and transactions. So the way that I'm doing this, if I want to be a stacks miner, if I want to write stacks on the, if I want to write blocks on the stacks blockchain, I'm using my Bitcoin. So the cool thing about this is that with this proof of transfer mechanism, the leader election is happening on the base Bitcoin blockchain. Instead of burning electricity on proof of work, we're reusing already minted Bitcoins as proof of computation, right? So if I want to be a Stacks miner, mint those new blocks on the Stacks blockchain, I'm doing that using Bitcoin that has already been mined. So the second side of this is we have Stacks miners. We also have Stacks holders. Stacks holders are people that already own Stacks and are locking it up to basically help secure the network. And as a reward for doing that, they are getting Bitcoin as a reward. So you really have two parties here. You have these Stacks miners that are wanting to write the new blocks for the next round and you have these stacks holders. However, each party is getting something in return. So these stacks miners, they're using Bitcoin for that ability to write the next blocks to get those stacks reward. On the flip side, these stacks holders, they are actively participating in the consensus as well. And instead of these Bitcoins being destroyed, they're being distributed to these people that are locking up the stacks. So if I scroll down here, you'll see that it's kind of a, situation where both people benefit. The miners send Bitcoin and compete to earn stacks. The stackers hold and lock the stacks in reward for exchanging those Bitcoins. So the way that this works is that we have two separate blockchains. We have the stacks blockchains. And the cool thing about stacks is it can scale independently of blockchain of Bitcoin. So we can have thousands of transactions on stacks and that gets submitted to Bitcoin as a single hash, right? So we can scale, we can have these smart contracts, but we're still anchoring into Bitcoin and sending that hash that verifies and kind of formalizes and locks in 
all of those transactions. So not only that, but with stacks, we have this concept of microblocks that gives initial confirmation in seconds. So that's the really cool thing we have faster transactions, we have smart contracts, but we're still tying in at the end of the day to Bitcoin for all of the security and networking benefits. So that's a general overview of how the consensus, the proof of transfer works. Again, this, this video is really more about showing you what Stacks does and how to use it than getting it into all the technical details. However, there are a couple things that I wanted to show you. So Clarity is a language that is used to write these smart contracts on the Stacks blockchain. And it's a decidable language and an interpreted language. Um, again, I'm not going to go too much into that, but according to the developers, it does have some advantages over compiled languages. In that, you reduce some possibility for errors, and then the decidable language gives you the advantage of knowing exactly what the code is going to do simply by reading it without necessarily having to execute the code and test it out each time. Another thing that I thought was really cool is that Clarity contracts have visibility into Bitcoin state, which means that this contract logic can trigger based on pure Bitcoin transactions. So we can have a contract on stacks that sees something happen in Bitcoin and automatically executes. On top of that, Clarity contracts fork with Bitcoin. So you don't have to worry about corner cases where Bitcoin forks and then the smart contracts need to adjust to the fork. It's all going to happen automatically. So that's an overview of Stacks blockchain, what Stacks is doing, the Clarity programming language. What about the Stacks cryptocurrency itself? Well, just as Ether is the fuel of Ethereum, just as Binance is the fuel of the Binance chain, Stacks is designed as the fuel to execute these Clarity smart contracts on the Stacks blockchain. There's a couple other use cases for it, such as registering digital assets, paying transaction fees. Um, but just think of it again as the fuel of the Stacks blockchain. And one thing, again, that's really cool about this is that it's a unique asset in that most of the times when we stake a cryptocurrency, we earn that same crypto. So I stake Tezos, I get Tezos. I stake ETH on Ethereum 2.0, I get ETH back. With this, you stake one cryptocurrency, stacks, and you earn a different cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. So that's a pretty cool approach in that you stake one and you actually earn another cryptocurrency. With that being said, let's actually get into stacks, how you can get them, how you can stake them, and kind of what your rewards are going to be for. If you are stacking by yourself, there's a lot that goes into this. You have to have a minimum of 70,000 stacks, and right now stacks is priced at about 91 cents, so let's just call it a dollar. And that would be about $70,000 for a full reward slot to stake on your own. So when it comes to staking, there's a variety of different ways you can do it. You can obviously, if you can meet that 70,000 stacks requirement, you can stack by yourself through the stacks wallet. However, if you can't meet that requirement, you can still earn those rewards through stacking using a service. So you can use OKCoin, you can use staked. Um, with OKCoin, they're saying they're distributing about 8% APY. So again, um, some people want to be more decentralized, some people want the convenience, it's all depending on you what you want to do, but I just like to give people a general overview of how much they can earn. Right now it's looking at about 8% on OKCoin OK and to show you that I can actually go into OKCoin, OK I can click on earn. And what you can see here is the APY rate on that stacks token is 15 percent it's going to go for 14 days and let me just go ahead and click on it here and show you how this would work if i want to stake or stack i have to deposit a minimum of 50 stacks now that's something i messed up when i was trying to do it myself i tried to put in like five stacks or something like that you need a minimum of 50 i have more than that and what you're going to do is you're going to lock this up and you're going to get these Bitcoin rewards. Now, here's the thing that you need to understand. After your stacks is committed to staking, it will be locked for a period of 14 days. You will not be able to withdraw until the staking period ends. If you requested to unlock your stacks at the end of the cycle, it will automatically be added to the next cycle. So if you don't request a withdrawal, they're just going to keep rolling that over for you. And what you see is that there's a time left to deposit. So basically what happens every day they will submit all of these at once to the stacking protocol now because they're submitting this once a day you can actually pull your funds out if you decide if you change your mind so bitcoin interest will start accumulating on february 27th it's paid out daily however you can cancel any time between february 25th once earning redeeming of stacks tokens takes up to 14 days from the redeem initiation date so again this is something you kind of need to put a little bit of thought into it's not something to do if you need to cash out really quick however 
as a longer term thing, if you're committed to locking it up for 14 days, it can be a benefit. So just in the interest of completeness, I did want to show you how to download and install the Stacks desktop wallet. This is just in case you wanted to do it. If you had that large minimum balance that we talked about that you want to stake yourself or you just wanted to keep your funds off of a centralized exchange, there's a couple different wallets that they do have available for you. I'm simply going to download and install the given wallet. So Stacks wallet, we're simply going to click on it, go ahead and click download for desktop. I've already downloaded to save a little bit of time. So we're going to go to the desktop, open it up and get started installing. Alrighty, so when you create a new wallet, you download, you would double click to install, you simply go through and agree to the terms of the agreement. You can either create a new wallet or you can restore a wallet. So for the purpose of this, we are going to create a new software wallet it's going to generate our secret key and it's going to give us a list of words here. Now you should obviously write this down, keep it in a safe place. Now this is just a demo wallet that will never have any funds in it. So I'm simply going to click copy and I'm going to paste it in. Now obviously you should write that down on a piece of paper and manually enter it so that you know you have it saved. But again for this it's a demo video. We're going to hit continue and then we can choose a password. So it actually forces us to choose a pretty secure password. So we will go ahead and do that. And then once we do that we'll be able to log in. We'll actually be in our wallet and what I'll show you is that you do have the option of staking through the wallet either through that 70,000 minimum that we talked about or through delegating it to someone else to stake for you. Alrighty, so once we actually get in the wallet, you can see it's a pretty basic interface. We can't send, um, however we can receive and to do that we will need to enter our password to unlock the wallet and click reveal stacks address and then after waiting a while it does give us our address so this is the address that we would use if we wanted to receive stacks again so let's suppose I'm withdrawing from OKCoin that's the withdrawal address that I would use and then we also have the option of stacking in the wallet so we're going to click get started if we want to stack by ourselves, wow I think when I was doing the video it was like 70,000 it's up to 70,100 so you've got to have quite a bit of funds if you want to start stacking by yourself however you also have the option to stack or delegate um, on your behalf so Again, I'm doing everything through OKCoin. OK the choice what you want to use is totally up to you depending on your situation. But at least for the sake of completeness, I wanted to go through downloading, setting up, installing, and navigating through the Stacks wallet. So in general, we have talked about the Stacks blockchain. And I want to be the first to say that especially when we're talking about consensus mechanisms between two different blockchains, there are a lot of technical details that I simply did not cover in the interest of brevity. If you do want to learn more about that, I'll be sure to leave a link down to the documentation so you can go through and read it yourself. But for a beginner, someone that's just checking it out, the main takeaway here is that Stacks is hoping to bring smart contracts and faster confirmations to Bitcoin. However, they're going to anchor into Bitcoin so they can still take advantage of that security, that network benefits of the largest, most secure blockchain. On top of that, they're going to give you the ability to earn Bitcoin simply by staking or stacking those stacks. So, as always, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you got something out of the video. If there's any other topics you want us to cover, be sure to leave a link down below and we'll check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.